I'm still such a bad sailor. It sucks. Good morning. We, um, I did not really sleep. I was up at 3 a.m. or 2.30 a.m. or whatever time a.m. <laughs> to our high water alarm going off. Apparently our bilge pump stopped working and our engine is leaking. So that's exciting. On top of that, we have weather that's coming in That's, that's just making it bouncy. The winds just shifted out of the west in the Caribbean, which is not something that ever happens. So now the wind's coming out of the west. We have a lot of chop and swell and waves coming through here. So it's super uncomfortable. And we can't move the boat. <laughs> so that's cool. Now I have a couple projects to do. The bilge is full of water and the engine is leaking. It's shut the seacock so that there's no raw water going into the engine, but for now, the oil cooler for the transmission got a little pinhole in it, corroded through. So now we need to replace that. I think for now, I might put some silicone tape on the outside of it to seal it shut so that we can just move it inside the harbor, grab like a mooring ball or something, um, just to wait out this weather and see if we can source a part. Thank God there's a budget here or a good chandlery at that. But for now, we're gonna try to fix what we can, get water out of the bilge, and um, go from there. Pinhole is right here. It's only dripping now because I already shut off the seacock, but it was like pretty good earlier. I have the silicone tape. It's like people use for aircrafts and whatnot, and it's adhes it adhes adhes adheves adheres adheres <laughs> only to itself and nothing else. So as for the water in the bilge, I gotta buy a new bilge pump. That is our high water alarm, and every time it's just clicking, putting some pressure on the float switch, and unclicking. So through the night last night, it would like go off and then not go off. And then when the boat like moved perfectly, it would beep again. And then slowly would start beeping more. <laughs> it was just super annoying. So I shut it off after we figured out the leak situation. I've been monitoring it since, but would rather not have to deal with listening to an alarm go off until we get it fixed. All right, plan B, we are using JB Weld, water weld. The silicone tape just was not sticking. Thanks to our friend Josh on Honey Time, he said, that looks like a job for JB Weld, and luckily we had some on board. Check that out. Highly recommended. Silicone tape, don't recommend for that. Quick fix, now we just need to get the bilge pump working, and we're good to go. Just looking up bilge pumps on Amazon, and seeing how much I, uh, I'm gonna over overspend today. Let's see. <laughs> So the uh, rule 2000 replacement is 350 US here. Oh. It hurts. You shouldn't even look. <laughs> I shouldn't have looked, no. Because same day delivery too. Oh, wow. Yeah, just, you know, it's lovely.
store bought a new bilge pump. I think I found the culprit of the issue. Let me show you. It could be a problem as to why it's not turning on. The positive wire <laughs> just hanging out. <laughs> Welcome to Tanner's dumbass decisions. No. Oh, you don't know. Yeah. Check wiring before you go buy a new bilge pump. Did you pick the world's best one? Yep. Just use a heat gun. I'm going to get hate in the comments, but it works fine. We're going to go ahead and put some uh, liquid electrical tape on there. So weird. It's like paint on tape. Mm -hmm. So today we are using paint on tape and um, putty weld. I'll let that dry. Test her out. It works. So the original one works. So, yeah. It's a beast. I just thought, like, Intuition says that I rebuilt it, water somehow got in it, and it just stopped working. Just loose connection. That's awesome. Actually, connection just completely came off. That's a win. Yeah. Very, very good win in my book. Our time in Antigua was short-lived. We... <laughs> have not been here as long as we would have liked, but we'll be back. We'll be back. We're pretty convinced. In the meantime, we are heading to our favorite place in the Caribbean. <laughs> I miss it. I've been wanting to go back since the moment we left and the time has come because the window is, is decent. We are gonna sail through the night to St. Martin. Repping. Getting the sail ready. Quick story, funny story. Our friends that we're here with, we're gonna do the overnight with them. And earlier, they got in this little argument with this guy in the anchorage. I'm not gonna get into details on why, but this dude was being a total prick. And our friend was like, what the hell, dude? Like, so they had some back and forth and it got really bad. Anyway, later on, our friend went over back to this guy's boat because they were still anchored next to each other. And he said, uh, I don't want any weird bad blood. Like, can we squash? Like, let's move past this. And the guy felt really bad. And he said, I'm so sorry. I handled that poorly. Will you guys come over for drinks? So Long story short, they fought. Yeah. And then he went over there and they had beers. And now they're best buds. They sent us a picture of all four of them, friends for life. Yeah. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. That's our friends in a I nutshell, say, though. Like, they solved that issue for sure. Yeah. I say the best, best friendships come from two dudes fist fighting and then making up. Yeah, it got physical, too. So. <laughs> it was interesting. Let them tell oh the story. God. Yeah, I'm not going to ruin the story for them. They have a podcast. It's, uh, God, I'm, I'm so bad at this. What's the podcast called? Sundowner. It's called Sundowners. Travis and Megan, Sundowners. It's hilarious. I'm sure they'll talk about it in their podcast. Yeah, baby. It's heavy. We are doing our first overnighter of the season. Should be fun. I feel pretty good about it. I'm not sure if it's just because we haven't done one in a while or because I'm going to St. Martin because I love St. Martin and I know what to expect and it's like I know this place is one of my favorite places. Also, I'm just ready for something different. I don't know. I want to see the water at night and I know I'm going <laughs> to in a couple hours I'm going to be like, what am I talking about? I'm exhausted. This sucks. But <laughs> right now I'm excited to see it at night. I'm just throwing it out there, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure last week at St. Martin buys the first round. Deal. <laughs> I like it. I love I it. I think they're a dollar. Yeah, <laughs> I'm okay with that bet. <laughs> I see that's a win. 
Do you find just like make sure that we're good all the way out? Okay. Um, there is a reef right here at the edge of that island. Okay. So just be careful with that. Yes. It should be pretty good the rest of the way out. Okay. So just be mindful of the reef on the way out. Yes, sir. You getting pictures of our friends? Yeah. We'll watch them raise their sail. I was just spinning the propeller okay. down here and it wasn't spinning forward and then I was spinning freely in reverse and then I let it go like spun it really hard in reverse and then it started spinning so like a jam maybe something stuck underneath or the transmission is just kind of being a bitch but one of the two let me see if I can show the camera okay <laughs> was it was spinning freely for a minute but it stopped again so okay. take something's probably down there but i'm not jumping in the water in the middle of the night i know travis's crazy ass has done it before but i'm not doing it. no i don't really want you to jump into the ocean right now if you don't have to that's not my ideal scenario. Can you try to put it forward for me. Go ahead. I just shut down the engine to see because I tried to put it in forward and it didn't look like it wanted to go in forward. So. I checked the fluid. I'm waiting for it to cool off a little bit. It seemed like it was a little hot in there. Yeah, that's fair. Running the engine for this long is not good. Do you know, is, it, is your prop spinning normally right now as you're kind of sailing? Because these waters right here are notorious for all sorts of crap in them. So do you think you grabbed a line or anything? It's a good possibility, but we do have a line cutter. Oh, that's good. Yeah, as I say, if you could put it in neutral and then go down there and see if it's like ours. Oh, you have a feathering prop, so yours probably doesn't even move when you're sailing, does it? It should. I'd say that's something I would kind of keep an eye on, see if it's if your prop's moving, then your at least your transmission, or at least your I don't know. I would just be worried about grabbing a line out here. It was moving in reverse, but it's not. They won't move them forward. Dang, that's no good. Well, we'll slow go with you. We have no, well, we have tons of time. We made good time to this point, so we'll just stay up for a little bit. Fire back up when you, when you feel confident and let us know how it goes. Copy that, we appreciate you guys. So we are currently sailing at three knots. <laughs> Our transmission is not working, so that's exciting. It started out of nowhere. According to Travis, the, these waters are known for having stuff in them. So he said there could be a line around our prop, but the last thing I want to do is go overboard <laughs> at 3 a.m. So we will try to figure this out, I guess. We made it into the morning, yeah. unscathed so far. Well, I wouldn't say unscathed. All right, I'm gonna let Captain talk. I'm uh, exhausted. I wouldn't say unscathed. We um, have a transmission issue. 
first off, I think we ran something over. Yeah. And that overheated our transmission. And then we tried to start it up again. It seemed to be fine. I tried to work the shaft. Yeah, you work, did. work the shaft. It seemed to spin and then it was working just like I had to mess with it. And then it was spinning and working just fine and then it stopped. And it was hard to spin both ways. So I feel like whatever got caught, got caught both ways. And then we ran the engine, it seemed to be okay. And then randomly we just heard something like a little clunk and then it started running a lot smoother. So we feel like it just burned off whatever was stuck to the bottom of the boat. But the damage was done at that point and I think the transmission overheated again. And I think the transmission fluid at this point is just bad. So we're gonna limp into St. Martin. We're just gonna sail all the way to anchor because there's not much else we can do at this point. Wind picked up, it's probably 10 to 14 knots. Just after the beam, probably like 140 degrees, 150 degrees, pretty far back, but we're still hauling, going like six knots. Now there's seven and a half knots of wind and we're going four and a half knots, so. So you see it's definitely built from last night, but it's bearable because it's following, so it's just moving us along nicely with um, how the wind picked up last night right after the engine issues was so awesome we couldn't have been more grateful we kind of thought that that was around the time it was going to happen anyway we planned to sail all of that the duration of that part of the trip uh but it, you still don't it's still really nerve-wracking when your engine isn't reliable because you know it's a long it's a long way to go and it's also it's not convenient to sail into an anchorage you also just don't want to have issues with your engine period so and tanner diving into the water to pull anything off of our prop was not an option for me i am not comfortable with that like we're alone on the boat it was the middle of the night and i'm not having it so <laughs> we were just gonna float there which we did for a little while <laughs> We really, literally did just float there for a little while. <laughs> so, anyway, I don't know. We've been taking little power naps. We haven't been doing very well as far as sleeping is concerned. Per usual, we're not very good at the sleeping thing, on the, especially if it's just one overnight. It's really hard. If it is a consecutive amount of days, we seem to do better, but. in the head sail because we got a gust of 25 and it was really sketchy we were healed over like real 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 healed um, like rail in the water and it freaked us out because it happened really suddenly so when the gusts come like that it's not really something you want to mess with and we were f we were full sails out like no reef so we just pulled in the head sail in the meantime because the main is is fully is fully out and we're still going seven knots so we're pretty satisfied with that um, between five and a half and seven knots it's it's varying but it's stay it's on the higher end <laughs> it's staying on the higher end so yeah sorry we couldn't catch that on camera but um, I don't have anything set up right now because I don't feel very good. And that's just the reality of it. And this dinghy is driving me batshit crazy. Like that, it's the least of our concerns right now because it's just noise, but it's driving me insane. <laughs> we stuck a towel in the dinghy, or between the dinghy and the boat because it was being really annoying. Yay. Peace and quiet. Right? Here we're pulling out, just outside of the bay and uh, outside of Marigot Bay and it's blowing 20 to 25 knots consistently and we have no engine working right now 
So I'm gonna go. Um, I don't know where where I'm gonna go, but we have our headsets on so that we can anchor together and hope for the best. We sailed into the anchorage without a working engine, seeing gusts up to 28 knots, and somehow managed to do it successfully. Since we were sailing into the anchorage, we picked the widest section of sand with the least amount of boats around us. I just feel like shit about myself with, that at this point I'm still such a bad sailor. It sucks. You still love me, even though I'm mediocre. <laughs> She's not mediocre. Wow, that's close to my face. She did a great job. It was a little stressful in the moment, and I probably was a little more stern than I needed to be, but it was a really stressful moment. Got hectic. I mean, did, I mean, we didn't have an engine, so pulling into the anchorage was just a huge pain in the ass, and trying to figure out how to get the boat in directly into the wind at, well, it's blowing 25, so. Anyway, we're here, we're alive, we made it. Thank God for the wind. I'm gonna go check in to the country and get some transmission fluid.